Hello, everyone. Today is uh, advanced class, Friday, 14th of April, I think. Yes, that's it. Uh, we are going to talk about language and communication. Is kind of our area, is a nossa área aí. Estaremos falando um pouquinho sobre linguagem e comunicação. Quero a opinião de todos aqui presentes hoje, então vai ter bastante conteúdo legal para a gente conversar. So, let's begin here. Uh, discuss various aspects of language and communication, exploring topics such as language learning, the impact of language on culture, and non-verbal communication. Non-verbal communication is something that is very important nowadays due to accessibility. So, first part is about language learning. What are some effective strategies for learning a new language? So, let me see here. Um, Sabrina, um, how long are you studying English? For how long? Um, I used to study English in my school. Mm -hmm. Since um, um, 20, tw tw no, wait, 12 years old, but uh -huh. it's a uh, school English. Um, Is that a formal English as like verb to be all the time? Yes, yes. <laughs> but I, I started the, uh, a course. Um, twenty eighteen. Twenty eighteen. Okay, so you were studying for more than five years now. Yes. Yes. Wow, that's good. That's good. Do you used to? Um, you said you were in college right now, right? Yes. What college are you studying at? I study in UERJ, mm -hmm. and I, in a course of biology. Oh, and biology, okay. Yes. Good. It, That's good. And I see the English is too important for, because the um, liter literature, the books, the mm -hmm. media when you need, are, you need are to do research English. yes 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 when you need to do some research there are a lot of articles in english yes yes um and did uh learning english from these five years changed something in your life how has uh, learning english impacted your life in this moment i think so uh, in mm -hmm. the um, in the beginning, I use it to. Uh, today I don't like too much English, but why not? <laughs> I don't like it. Sorry. Oh come on! But um, after no before um, the course the English course it. Mm -hmm. It was horrible because I I was feeling um, excluded, but because uh, everything um, everybody around me knows mm -hmm. English and yes, and I'm used to don't know. So after after the course, I understand better my mm -hmm. reality and I can do new things that's so good so because of people being like uh, uh, knowing more uh, than you English it was kind of uh, a reason for you to study is that right can you please please yeah sure um because of people around you is uh new english you saw the the necessity for you to study it right yes yes and uh, after you starting st studying it um when did you notice like oh now i can 
I can talk, I can I can chat with people in English. When was that you realized that? Well, uh, when I could uh, read text or understand memes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is good. Internet around memes are so good. What else? Yeah. Yes, yes. That's it. Uh, that's it? Okay, no problem. Yes. And... Um, Let me see here if we have another one question here or if you can. Mm. Okay, no, the, the rest is about nonverbal communication that includes a lot of things that I don't know. But uh, Sabrina, ask or ask somebody about. Ah, no, 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 no. I need more information about why you don't like English. <laughs> So, I don't like, just don't like. I, I'm a Portuguese girl, okay? I like all right. Portuguese. You I like, like Portuguese. So, do, do you like to have like more than seven variations of a verb to conjugate than only three? I was born learning this language, okay? It's okay. Good. I can't I can't judge you. I'm I'm just putting points here, facts, you know. That's all. Nothing more nothing more than that. But do you do you think um do you intend to travel around the world and learn um new cultures and live uh, out of Brazil or not? Do you intend to go out of the country and live outside or not? Hello. Oh, I think Sabrina is not there anymore. I think it was a shock for her. Let me see here. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, Chiali, your turn. Come on. I'll be back. Uh, hello. C can you speak a little closer to the microphone, please? Because it's so... It's a little distant. Oh, see. Better? Okay, it's got better. So, what... Um, how has... No, let's, let's go deeper. Um, how long are you studying English? Uh... The one one year one year. Oh, one year studying. That's good. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah. Did you study it before, or is the first in, time? Yeah, uh, in the college. In the college. Well, famoso verb to be. The verb to be. And yes. oh, now it's about past. Oh, uh, the now it's about the future. Whoa. Uh, oh. I have a car. Okay, so something like that, yes. But yeah. uh, in the, the college, when you were learning, they had like conversation classes or something like that, or was just grammar, grammar, grammar. Uh, no conversation. Uh, that's uh, by grammar. Bem by grammar. Only grammar. Yes. This is horrible. This is horrible. Be because oh. it's it it enters in the effective strategies for learning a new language. Okay, the first topic of the exactly the book there. Because look, imagine when you were a little child. You had your mom and your dad, or maybe cousins and siblings, I don't know. But they usually talk to you every day. Chiele, do that. Chiele, do that. Oh, come here. Ah, go there. Take that. Take this. 
and then you you obey and you do your stuff and you live your life and uh, you have the contact with portuguese like every day all the time yes nobody comes to you saying look when i say look look is a verb <laughs> and you have to put in the middle of the sentence like come on why do i need to know that you see yeah. Faltou, uh, 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 pratique, né? Pratique, né? Yes, you need practice. Yes. So, in my conception of studying a language, guys, if you, if you want to take notes and write down on the paper, you can, feel free. In my conception of learning a language, any language you want, you have to be surrounded. You have to uh, put everything that you have around you in English for you to consume that. Your cell phone, your TV show, uh, the music you listen to, uh, everything, uh, content in TikTok, in reels of uh, Instagram, whatever, whatever you, you are going to watch. Watch in English. Try it. Force yourself, you know, because if you don't have this in your uh, common daily life is going to be so hard. Um, tell me, tell me when, when, Shelly, did you, you see in you, oh, I can understand now. When was it? When was that moment? That moment? Um... Mm, uh, uh, no, remember that month specifically. Because it was natural, but, right? Yes, porque, because um, I say que I, I, I mean, I understand better than I talk, you know? Sure, because you, you, you practice more your listening skills and your reading é, skills probable, than é, your speaking skills. Você, yes. Sure, uh, sure. Mas é, ma, more, eu acho que um, um But... grande, o um, mais important, digamos assim, de uma new language, é, mm -hmm. ó, é, é, obviamente que é a conversação, a grammar, mas mm -hmm. você understand a cultura, né? De como a the maneira. Mm -hmm. É, yes, como a maneira de pensar, aí talvez você consiga entender. Uhum. Uh, o, 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 o que que você está lendo e o porquê que é daquele jeito, entendeu? Uh -huh. uh, I have an example uh, about the differences of counting and calculations. French people, they don't say like 80. They say like quadrivan or something like that. It's four times 20. They use mathematics to talk about numbers. It's so strange. Yes. It, But uh, if you don't have this information, how are you going to study numbers in French if you don't know this? Your point was very good. Um, Chelly, ask Julio about um, how the learning of English impacted her life. Uh, two questions. Uh, what are some act uh, strategies? No, it's the second question. How has learning English impacted your life? For Julio. Ah, yes. Uh, Julio, how has learning English impacted your life? So, thank you for a question. Well, I think uh, this hasn't this haven't impacted so much in my life, but uh, not yet, not yet. But it improved my self esteem and my mm -hmm. confidence to. Mm, this is good. To, even it's not about language, but I I I feel like I'm able to solve uh, some problems or troubles there mm -hmm. I feel more confident to solve 
mother problem not related to language. Mm -hmm. About general, uh, yes? Yes. Uh, it works like uh, I opened my mind. Mm, this is so good. It's like a, a, it's, it blown your mind. As a, wow. So much possibilities. Yes, exactly. Nowadays, I try to to watch news on TV in English and uh, to be posted about what is happening in the wide world. Mm -hmm. This is important. This is so important. Um, what... Um, when you study, do you only stay to the the method and do writing, reading, listening, or do you do something else for studying English, specific English for now? So, and um, a tip that I I'm always always use is to try to imagine talking to someone and making questions and talking about some object. Mm -hmm. When I know how, how to say a kind of object, I, mm, I look for this in a dictionary or a Google Good. Translator. This is nice, I, this is I, nice. When I'm at my work uh, and I work, uh, I, how can I say, I make uh, various kind of job at the same place, like I sell mm -hmm. uh, tools and sometimes I, mm, I get by myself thinking about uh, how, what's the name of this object? And so I search for it and translate to English. No, oh, that's so good. You work in a construction uh, storage, right? Yes, exactly. That's good. That's good. Um, Julio, ask uh, ask Manu now about uh, how has learning English impacted her, her life. Hello, Manu. How has learning English impacted your life? Hi, hello. Hi. Um, uh, repeat, ask again, please. Okay, is the second question there. How has learning English impacted your life about the language and what changed in your life by learning it? Um, I am... Como que eu consegui em inglês, professor? Uh, it's uh, I can. I can't. Uh, it's the best in the school. Mm -hmm. And uh, taste and taste at uh, uh, problems, né? Mm -hmm. Make tests. Uh, uh -huh. And I think is I learn English now is como que posso falar isso? Vai ser muito bom mm -hmm. for my it's going to be good for my future. Mm, for and your future. I love, and I love study English because I think is um matéria Como que é a matéria? The subject. Subject is mm -hmm. more easy. It's easier. Yes, Ooh. easier. See? See? Is easier English. Uh, is easier English or mathematics for you? Mathematics. Mathematics is easy, but what is more difficult than English for you? Um, compar comparativo de superioridade mm -hmm. e superlativo. 
Oh, so this this part in grammar for you is complicated. Yes. Mm, understand, understand. So uh, about that, uh, let me see if I can uh, make it easier for you. Look, when you compare something, you have uh, two possibilities. For example, uh, my bottle of water is better than my remote control. So you always have to use the verb, the not the verb, but the connection then when you are talking about comparison. Okay. So one item is the quality. Okay. Better, taller, um, bigger, more difficult yes. than something else. Okay, and superlative and superlative is kind of imagine a competition. We have the first place, the second place, the third place, the last place in a race, for example. And all the time you are going to talk about something in the superlative. It is always going to be the champion. It's always going to be the top one of that specific situation. So, for example, uh, if I want to compare, iOS is better or okay. iOS is worse than uh, Android, for example. Yes? Yes. But if I want to say that the best notebook ever made in the entire world is a positive notebook, I say positive notebook are the best or is I the best. Superlative. Yes, superlative because there is no competition. See? I understand. Understand? So when you yes. compare, you have two options. When you are yes. making superlative, is the champion, is the best, or is the worst of anything. Okay? Okay. So, oh, we have a new member here. We have a point. Hello, full stop. What's your name? Chegou um ponto final na nossa conversa. Quem é? Hello? Professor, tem como você colocar para falar? É, eu não sei mexer nesses negócios. Um é estranho para mim. É como se fosse uma tecnologia muito avançada. Deixa eu ver. Controle remoto. Auto accept. Share. NN. Vê se você clicar na pessoa, tem a... Ah, fugiu, fugiu, fugiu. Fugiu. <laughs> they went out. They don't want to talk. They are shy. It happens, it happens. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sabrina, come, <laughs> come over. <laughs> ah, this is This is always happened. This always happens when you want somebody to talk and they are afraid, they simply vanish. The mysterious. Yeah, the, the person enters in the class, has no name, don't talk. When you ask to talk, the person goes away. Okay, good. Kelly, give me your opinion about this situation. Now is the free, free class. <laughs> It's not tá about gravando. language anymore. Tá gravando. I know. <laughs> I know that. Yeah, no, so, understand. Mistério. You don't understand. Uh, What? De repente, ah. ele, de repente ele não, não, não se, se enfatizou com o tema, talvez. It, it, it wasn't maybe. feeling good. Okay, it happens. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. 
Yeah. It happens. It happens. Life so, um, do you think that? Uh, oh, this question is very good. Oh God. Can you provide an example of a word or phrase that is unique to your culture and difficult to translate into English? Uh, repeat. The, is, the third, is, the, is the third, the third dot there. Can you provide, can you give us an example of a word or a phrase that is unique to your culture, like unique to Brazilian people, and is difficult to translate into English. Oh. You have a word or an expression. Ah, this one. Yes, this one is complicated. I think. I think. Not sure yet. <laughs> but as I, th I think in English is like parallelogram or something like that. But is not. Oh God, this is really difficult. <laughs> Look, because parallelogram is parallelogram. No, é paralelepípedo em si. This word. I think we don't have like no, a no specific in English. No, it's like brigadeiro. Ah, feijoada. Yes, coxinha. Caipirinha. Caipirinha, caipirinha is good. Eu apelei para o Google Tradutor e traduziu como paving stone. Joada. Paving stone. Paving Aqui stone. Tirei. I know why. I know Aqui why tirei. is paving é, stone. Faz sentido, mas... Yes, because of the street. Yes. Pedra, né? Pavimento. Yeah, the stone that was made for people to put on the street to pavement the street. Yes, yeah, so it makes sense. Yeah, so, 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 so. It makes sense if if you think about the history and the use of the word is okay, yes. but about the geometric state, I don't think this is a good idea. So Sabrina, your turn. What word in Portuguese that or expression in Portuguese that is strange for English speakers? Saudade. Oh, this é a, one. a clássica, é a clássica. Oh. Todo mundo fala que saudade é uma palavra, não sei yeah. exatamente se é assim, mas tipo, que é a palavra que só tem em português. Yes. Só tem em português, yes. This word yeah. only exists in Portuguese. Because yeah. in English Because we you, don't you say miss saudade. Someone, my, mm -hmm. in Portuguese is, eu sinto falta, não saudade. It's mm -hmm. different. We have a phrase, not a word. Yes. This is so true. This is so true. And it's sad. I think this word is so sad. Because it is a feeling that you cannot control. And you cannot express this in English. It's the absence. Of something. Yes, it's a, the business, yes. You miss that so much, but so much that people in Portuguese invented a specific word for that. And we don't have in English. Julio, do you know any other word or expression that is difficult to translate in English? Maybe it's not difficult, but I don't know how to say. Perna de cadeira, <laughs> braço de poltrona, something mm. like that. They use like leg, the legs of the chair and the arms of the armchair. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's fast. That was easy. 
that he, was he easy. On the, on the contrary, the, uh, uh, what word in uh, English, but no, no, tem in in Portuguese. What would it be? Let me think about it. I think that one word that we have in English that we don't have in Portuguese. Hmm. Na verdade, tem muitas, porque boa yes, parte das palavras elas são aportuguesadas, mas elas hmm. não são traduzidas. Hmm. Marketing, por exemplo. What? How do you trans how do you translate marketing? Marketing. Brigadeiro também. Beijo publicidade. É verdade, publicidade. Is it? Is it? Sabrina não facilita para ele, Sabrina. Era para pegar. What about ele. hamburger? What about the hamburger? <risos> não, mas hambúrguer é tipo brigadeiro. É uma coisa que foi criada no país. Então, tipo, hum. é entendível que não tem uma tradução, porque é o nome daquilo, é assim que aquilo foi criado. Uh -huh. mm, let me see here. Let me see here. I think that in English we have a word that is... We have we have kind of is is I think that's not a word, but the the way that things are, for example, for the suffixes and the prefixes, they are very easier in in English than in Portuguese, and uh, you can simply. Um, Uh, deduce what they mean just for the last three letters, you know. But specific in English, whoa, this is, there is an expression that doesn't make any sense in English that is running cats and dogs. Running cats and dogs. Running If you try to translate dogs. here to Brazil, how do you translate? It's raining cats and dogs. Eu sei, professor. Do you know, Julio? Tell us. Uh, está chovendo canivete. Yeah, but cats is gatos and dogs are cachorros. Yes. What about Porque... canivete? Canivete is razor. <laughs> Lâmina, no caso, né? Ah, e a expressão idiomática. Não tem como você traduzir exatamente. Eu, tem um, um vídeo hum. muito bom que é uma pessoa yes. pegando expressões idiomáticas em português e, e falando em inglês. Só que a, <risos> se eu procurar, não vou achar. Mas se eu topar com esse vídeo, nossa, é muito bom esse vídeo. Hum. If you find this video, send on the support WhatsApp of the school, please. Ok. <risos> And tell me. Here's, here's Sabrina. I found it. And send the link. Okay. Please do it. I need it. Um, and I think, guys, this is kind of all that we have to discuss for today. Did I miss someone? Yes, Manu. Manu, do you have a word that is very difficult in English? I think cuscuz. Mm-hmm. I don't have any idea how is it how can we translate this to English? I, I have an idea, but I cannot talk this in recording state. But it's like it's Brazilian and we don't have a translation for that. It's not like a fruit or something, is is a is a dish. It's a Brazilian dish. It's like brigadeiro. We cannot translate couscous. Because if you do, it's going to sound horrible. <laughs> and very bad. And very bad. And teacher. Mm. Mm. 
Tell me, and what else? I think, um, come, come, sorry. In, Can you repeat, please? The internet was oscillating. I couldn't understand. Manu? Manu? Are you listening, guys? Deve ter caído o sinal, alguma coisa. Ou tá oscilando. Uhum. Maybe the internet looked like it was going to go down. A Sabrina também caiu. Caiu várias gente. Jesus. Oh, God. Everybody's... Oh, maybe the, it's the internet. Their internet are, are bad. Julio, any other infl information? Any other expression? Mm, I'm not remembering one. No? No. And you, Chelly? Any other one? Uh, no, 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 no. Nope. No. That's all. Yes. Okay. Hmm. So I think for today, is enough. Hmm. I will stop the recording now to post on the YouTube channel next week so just a moment